A first note on Captain Corelli's mandolin. I'm thinking at least two, a couple of them. We'll see how it goes, maybe three. Because I love this uh, adaptation. So here I'm talking about uh, uh, a play based on this uh, material uh, for the BBC. A wonderful characters, uh, lovely plot, even if we have war. Uh, uh, and it's sad and it's bloody massacres take place um, people die even here uh, but once in a while there's a ironical sometimes jocular uh, look at conflict at, at, at world war so we know that uh, Nazi Germany was the main culprit, I mean, responsible for, for, for so much, for, for the Holocaust and attacking countries around. And when they attacked Poland, um, the UK, France entered the war. But here the emphasis is on the Italians. Even if we have a few Germans present and they have a nasty role, uh, the Italians um, want to recreate uh, their empire and that's because Mussolini uh, thinks it must be done. Uh, they have jokes, by the way, on Mussolini and other aspects, the Italians among themselves. Uh, what's the name of Hitler's dog? Benito Mussolini. Uh, why do Italians have moustaches? Uh, to remind them of their mothers. And finally, what is uh, the world's shortest book? Uh, Italian War Heroes, something like that. Uh, and uh, in a way, fortunately, uh, their preparation for this war uh, is, uh, is poor. And uh, what well, we know they had um, in uh, all sorts of... of, of mistakes, even catastrophes in, in Africa where they tried to wage war. And here they attack Greece. And we sort of, I mean, I think other leaders too, um, empathize um, are on the side of the Greeks in this war. The, the, the Italians uh, are not really harmless, but they're sent into war without almost anything. Uh, they don't even have the right bullets, if I remember correctly. So, uh, I felt pity for them too. And Corelli turns out to be a nice guy. Uh, Carlo too. Uh, in fact, there is a, an empathy between two giants at one point. The Italians have one. The Greeks, the locals, have one. And uh, they look at each other and they both think, I, I thought I'm a freak, I thought I'm the only one, so here I am. And then they exchange uh, pleasantries and pleasantries and the, the tobacco and they smoke together. And Calimera, uh, ciao. Uh, so there, there are many pleasant moments uh, with, with fun and I, I tended to, to forget about the war, uh, which actually uh, occupies parts of this adaptation, only briefly, I would say, and, but poignantly and with uh, dire, tragic consequences, alas. Um, and um, I'm, I, I was probably, surely, more attracted by the, the pleasant moments, such as when they talked about the language. The Italian, well, I, I see you here, don't, don't, Greeks don't know Italian. Uh, you mean Italians don't know Greek. It's this uh, um, pr pr pride and nationalistic view on both sides some, somehow. Uh, more prominent with the Italians because they indeed occupied finally 
these islands and after all they they're they're up there to recreate the empire um so in terms of characters we have dr yanis he's an, a, 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 a clever educated man uh, brave uh, tolerant uh, he he is very understanding uh, philagia his his daughter uh, she has the lead female role, I would say. Uh, there's Captain Corelli, of course, and there's Mother. Initially, uh, Pilagia has a, a close relationship with, uh, with Madras. Again, humor interferes. Madras is shot with a, 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 a Turkish rifle. And he hates that, of course, but in the first place. But with time, he learns to appreciate, appreciate it, especially since being shot, he has to um, see Dr. Yanis, and this is how he meets uh, uh, Pilagé. There's also history, history involved here, and they talk about the fact that um, uh, these islands, Corfu I'm talking about, uh, have been um, Occupied, attacked by enemies, and they uh, they make an, uh, an assessment. Uh, uh, the, the Turks were bad, but not so bad at times. The British had been terrible and arrogant at moments, but then they compensated, trying to be a hundred times uh, uh, better. The Russians have been okay, um, and um, others are also listed with their various shortcomings. A new note will be needed tomorrow.